So let us continue our discussion. So we have seen this Z11. It is referred as the input or driving point admittance uh, impedance. Sorry, Z12 is referred as reverse transfer impedance. Z21 is referred as forward transfer impedance, and Z22. is referred as the output driving point impedance okay so till this we have already covered now next is z parameters or open circuit impedance parameters for any network if it is given how to find them so let us say this is a two port network given to you so the a black box and having two ports port 1 where for port 1 voltage is v1 and current is i1 for port 2 or 2 to dash voltage is v2 and current is i2 so this will assume that v1 and i1 are the voltages of port 1 voltage and current of port 1 where v2 and i2 are the voltage and current of port 2 and this is the two port network now we know that impedance parameter you can write in the form of matrix as matrix of v equal to matrix of z into matrix of i okay so v1 i uh, v2 is equal to z11 z12 that is first row second column first row first column first row second column second row first column second row second column so that is z11 z12 z21 z22 into i1 i2 so this is the matrix form same matrix form you can write it in linear equation form as v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 so this is equation number 1 v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 okay so let us say this is matrix form equation number 1 this linear form equation number 2 and this linear form equation number 3 now when output is kept open circuited we will keep this output as open circuit and will apply here v1 and i1 okay so i2 will be zero as this port is open circuit open circuit we know that in open circuit current is zero and in short circuit voltage is zero so in order to keep this current value i2 at zero will open circuit this output so when this is open circuited i2 will be zero so in this equation both these equations second and third will when output is kept open circuited i2 is zero so this equation number 2 will become v1 equal to z11 i1 okay this term will vanish so v1 is equal to z11 i1 and from 3 as i2 is zero you keep this so v2 will be z21 i1 so v2 is equal to z21 i1 so these two equations you got v1 is equal to z11 i1 and v2 is equal to z21 i1 so z11 will be v1 by i1 take this i1 on that side again take this i1 on that side so you will get z21 as v2 by i1 so z11 is equal to v1 by i1 at i2 equal to 0 which is referred as input driving point impedance and z21 it is v2 by i1 at i2 equal to 0 it is referred as forward transfer impedance function okay then similarly we can keep output for this output you can apply v2 as the voltage and i2 as the current and input side now you keep open circuited so if you will keep 
input as open circuited then this i1 will become equal to zero so when we keep input as open circuited i1 will become equal to zero so in this two equations if you will substitute i1 at zero then you will find v1 equal to z1 to i2 v1 equal to z1 to i2 and here from this equation number 3 v2 is equal to z2 to i2 so v2 equal to z2 to i2 so these are the two equations take this i2 on this side you will get z12 as v1 by i2 z12 is equal to v1 by i2 at i1 equal to 0 and it is referred as reverse transfer function uh, sorry reverse transfer impedance function and z22 as v2 by i2 at i1 equal to 0 and it is referred as output driving point impedance so z11 is input driving point impedance z22 is output driving point impedance z21 is forward transfer impedance whereas z12 is reverse transfer impedance and we have already seen the equivalent circuit diagram of this v1 here z11 z12 i2 a dependent uh, voltage source on current so current dependent voltage source here and current dependent voltage source here and z22 and here v2 so this is equivalent circuit of this z parameter okay so now let us start with numericals first numerical determine the z parameters for the following circuit so this is the t network given to you 20 ohm resistor 30 ohm resistor and 40 ohm resistor so these three resistances are given to you find out the open circuit impedance parameters for this particular t network now how to tackle with this problem there are n number of ways to tackle this problem so one of the way is like this uh, we'll go by definition all the time okay so what we have uh, means uh, how we have defined this z parameters you apply input voltage here as v1 current flowing at this particular node will be i1 so v1 and i1 are present that means 11 port it is operating and for port 2 we have kept it as open circuit so as port 2 is open circuit there won't be current flowing through this so i2 will be equal to 0 so this is the first condition or this is the circuit now for this particular circuit we uh, we have applied voltage v1 at port 1 and we have open circuit at port 2 that is i2 equal to 0 now from this circuit we can say that we apply kvl for this particular loop so it is v1 equal to 20 plus 40 into i1 so only current flowing in the circuit is i1 this i2 is 0 so v1 equal to i1 into bracket 20 plus 40 and v2 if you will apply kvl for this particular loop as current is not flowing in this this will not contribute to any um, voltage drop so only voltage v2 will be the drop across this 40 ohm resistor and through this 40 ohm resistor only current flowing is the i1 so i1 into 40 ohm will be v2 so v1 is equal to 60 i1 and v2 is equal to 40 i1 so these two equations you got v1 equation and v2 equation now how we are defining z11 and z21 z11 is v1 by i1 and z21 as v2 by i1 so to this v1 you divide it by i1 so z11 will be v1 that is i1 into 60 divided by i1 so i1 i1 will get get cancel will get it as 60 ohm so z11 is equal to 60 ohm and z21 that is v2 upon i1 v2 is 40 i1 40 i1 upon i1 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 will get cancel so we we'll get z21 as 40 ohm okay so we got z11 and z21 from this particular part a circuit that is we have applied voltage at uh, port 1 and current flowing through this port 1 is i1 so v1 and i1 
for port one, and for port two, we have kept this I two um, this port two as open circuit. So as port two is open circuit, your I two value will be zero, and from this definition of Z one and Z one one and Z two one, we can find these impedances as V one by I one and V two by I one. So we got these values of Z one one as sixty and Z two one as forty. Now we'll reverse the case. That is, you apply voltage source of V two at output port. So that current flowing through this port will be I two, and now you keep port one as open circuit. So if port one is open circuit, I one value will become zero. Now apply again KVL for this loop. So if you will apply KVL for this loop, you will find that V two is equal to thirty plus forty into I two. So that is V two is equal to seventy I two. This is one equation and we can observe that as i1 is zero there is no drop across this resistance or this resistance is not contributing any voltage and the only voltage v1 will be the drop across 40 ohm and current flowing through this 40 ohm is only i2 so v1 is equal to 40 into i2 so v1 is equal to 40 i2 and v2 is equal to 70 i2 so these two equations you got Now Z12 you are defining it as V1 by I2 and Z22 as V2 by I2. So V1 is 40 I2 divided by I2. So Z12 will become 40 and Z22 is V2 upon I2. So V2 is 70 I2 divided by I2. So it is 70 ohm. Okay. So we got Z12 as 40, Z22 as 70. So we got all the impedance parameters. Z11 as 60, Z21 as 40, Z12 as 40, and Z22 as 70. So all the impedance parameters we have computed. Now, from these impedance parameters, whether the particular network, which is a two-port network, maybe a transmission line or so, whether uh, what sort of nature that uh, particular uh, network is carrying, so that we can. Predict from these Z values as if Z one two is equal to Z two one, then it is a reciprocal network. If they are not equal, then it is not a reciprocal network. Then you check whether Z one one is equal to Z two two. If Z one one is equal to Z two two, then it is a symmetrical network. If they are not equal, then it is a symmetrical network. So you can comment on this from. The values of Z11 and uh, Z21, Z12 and Z22. So you see, Z21 is 40 and Z12 is 40. So Z21 is equal to Z12. So both are equal. So this is reciprocal network. So the network is a reciprocal one, and Z11 is not equal to Z22. So it is a asymmetrical. So If it is asked in the um, uh, numerical, comment on the uh, type of network. So it is reciprocal or not reciprocal, symmetrical or not symmetrical or asymmetrical. So that you can write from these values. Okay, this is one way to calculate the impedance parameters. Another way to compute the impedance parameters is simply. There are two loops in this. So here the current is I1, voltage is V1. Here voltage is V2, current is I2. Now you know um, our uh, mesh analysis. So from mesh analysis, voltage is V1, source, current is I1. So there are two meshes. So you can apply mesh analysis. And you can find the equations of V1 and V2 in terms of I1 and I2. Then compare it with the standard form of Z uh, parameters. Okay, so this is method two. Apply KVL and find out relations of V1 and V2 in terms of I1 and I2, and then compare it with the standard equation of Z parameters. So what are the what is the standard format of Z parameters? It is V1 equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 into I2, and V2 equal to 
z21 i1 plus z22 i2 this is the standard form of z impedance uh, impedance parameters so it is i have written it here also so this is the circuit v1 is the source here i1 is the current i2 is current here and v2 is the source here so this is simple mesh mesh analysis we apply two meshes are there for this particular mesh we apply kvl so if you will apply kvl for this particular mesh you will get v1 is equal to 20 i1 plus 40 i1 okay now v1 is equal to 20 i1 plus 40 i1 minus i1 plus i2 here current flowing in this is i1 plus i2 so 40 i1 plus i2 simplify this club all the terms of i1 together and i2 together and v1 on another side so v1 equal to 60 i1 plus 40 i2 this is one equation let us say equation number 3 and apply kvl to mesh 2 so for this mesh if you will apply kvl it is giving you v2 equal to 30 i2 plus 40 into i1 uh, sorry i i2 and i1 addition so i2 plus i1 so 30 into i2 plus 40 into i1 plus i2 again club all the terms of i1 together and i2 together so you will get uh, 40 i1 plus 30 and 40 70 i2 is equal to v2 let us say this is equation number 4 now from equation 3 and 4 if you will compare this equation 3 with equation number 1 that is this or standard equation this v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 that means this coefficient of i1 it is nothing but z11 and this coefficient of i2 it is nothing but z12 so we can say that z11 is 60 z12 is 40 and if you will compare these two equations coefficient of v2 equal to coefficient of i1 is nothing but z21 and coefficient of i2 is nothing but z22 so z21 is 40 and z22 is 70 so same values we have found out by this method also by this method also we have found out the same values of z11 z12 z21 and z22 okay now method of simulation if we find again you can uh, simplify this circuit by n number of ways you can use your um, uh, mesh analysis nodal analysis also you can use for simplifying this circuit and uh, applying ohms law also you can find out so what uh, we are interested in we are interested to express v1 and v2 in terms of i1 and i2 if will be able to express v1 and v2 in terms of i1 and i2 the coefficient of i1 in first equation of v1 it is 011 coefficient of i2 is 012 and in second equation of v2 coefficient of i1 is z21 and coefficient of i2 is z22 so we can simplify by any way now for simulation results using the definition so what is definition for finding z11 and z21 how you are defining z11 and z21 z11 is v1 upon i1 at i2 equal to 0 and z21 is equal to v2 upon i1 at i2 equal to 0 so when i2 is 0 means port 2 is open circuit so keep port 2 as open circuit measure the voltages and currents at both the ports port 1 and 2 and take the ratio that's all then similarly for finding another two parameters z12 and z22 open circuit the first port port 1 as open circuit and apply certain voltage at port 2 measure the voltages at port 1 port 2 and current at port 1 port 2 and take the ratio you will get the expressions or the values of z11 to z22 okay so this is the circuit which i have simulated in the 
first uh, method of simulation in which these resistances are 20 ohm 30 ohm 40 ohm i have kept it this for two i have kept it as open circuit and i have connected here a current meter to measure and a voltmeter to measure voltage here here i have connected a source of 12 volt 12 volt battery and a current meter okay then i know that v1 is 12 12 volt now i1 is 0.20 ampere that is 200 milli ampere you can say and this i2 is zero as it is open circuit and v2 is 8 volt so from definition z11 is equal to v1 by i1 at i2 equal to zero i2 is zero now so z1 z11 uh, equal to v1 by i1 so that is 12 divided by 200 milliampere so it is coming out as 60. you can keep this 10 volt also also you can keep this as 1 volt also that is not the issue some voltage you have to apply more than 1 volt and measure the current and the voltages okay so z11 you got it as 60 z21 z21 is defined as v2 upon i1 at i2 equal to 0 so i2 is 0 and v2 is your 8 volt so 8 volt divided by 200 milliampere so again it is coming out as 40 so same values we have calculated z11 as 60 z21 as 40 so z11 as 60 and z21 as 40 so these two values they are matching here also and similarly uh, applied now voltage at port 2 and have open circuited port 1 so as port 1 is open circuited my v1 value is coming as 6.86 i1 current it has gone to zero value i2 current i have got it as now 0.717 uh, or uh, 170 milliampere and this as 12 volt so my z12 i can define it as z12 equal to this v1 upon v1 upon i2 so v1 upon i2 so v1 is 6.86 divided by i2 is 0.17 ampere so if you will uh, calculate this it is coming out as 40.3 and z22 is equal to 12 divided by that is v2 upon i2 and it is coming out as 70.5 so uh, this is equal to 40 and 70 so the same values i have got it 40 and 70 okay the so simulation even uh, you can simulate this circuit in uh, our falstart.com so uh, i'll change the screen i'll stop sharing this screen I'll share another screen of falstart.com. I have simulated it just now. I have kept this voltage as 12 volt. So I got current as 200 milliampere. Here 0 ampere and 8 volt. So with these values of V1, V2, uh, sorry, V1, I1, V2 and I2. I2 is 0. So the V1, I1 and v2 these three values are known to you you can find out two z parameters and you can keep this as open uh, now this as open circuit so i'll shift this meters on this side now and this this here so I have open circuited now port 1 and now for port 2 I am connecting this voltage source and I am measuring this voltage over here. So I will have to draw wires. So I will short circuit this and short circuit this. So 12 volts are applied now. Here I have got this current, 
this voltage as v1 and this current as i1 i1 has gone to zero value and i2 and v2 you can change this voltage even to 1 volt okay you will get some different readings but your values of impedance parameters z11 z12 z21 and z22 will remain same okay even if you will uh, divide and uh, do all these calculations it will result to the same value you can keep this as even 10 volts and find out okay so this is uh, why i have shown this this is for our uh, simulation purpose practical purpose okay and then uh, you can export it as a link so i'll export it as link i'll create a short url i have created a short url for this and now i'll copy this and i'll put on that particular simulation problem so that you can check it later on even okay so i'll paste it here fine so is there any problem in this no yeah okay fine so i'll again uh, stop sharing this and again we'll come to come back to our original discussion is the screen visible to you now yes sir okay fine so i'll pick cursor bright cursor okay fine so let us uh, move to second numerical so for this it is asked to find z parameters for the given network so this is the circuit in black box inside the black box it is two ohm resistor one ohm resistor two ohm one ohm three ohm resistors are given and this two ports port 1 1 dash and port 2 2 dash and asked to find z parameters of the given circuit so you can find it by any method for this uh, given circuit let us say uh, will solve it by mesh analysis okay so uh, let's say v1 and i1 are the voltage and current at uh, port 1 and v2 and i2 are the voltage and currents at port 2 so i have drawn this v1 i1 v2 i2 and then i have drawn v1 uh, sorry i1 i2 and i3 three currents are flowing in this network mesh so i apply kvl for mesh 1 apply kvl for mesh 2 apply kvl for mesh 3 you will get three different equations the value of i3 you can substitute to get only expressions of v1 i1 v2 and i2 okay so first apply kvl for mesh 1 if you will apply kvl for mesh 1 you will find v1 equal to 2 into i1 plus 1 into i1 minus i3 this is equation 1 you can simplify it then second equation you can get either from this or this you can apply any one so v2 equal to 3 into i2 plus 1 into i2 plus i3 that is second equation and third equation is apply kvl for this so it is 2 into i3 plus 1 into i3 plus i2 and 1 into plus 1 into i3 minus i1 equal to 0 this is third equation now from this three equations so after simplifying i got this equation v1 as 3 i1 minus i3 as equation 1 after applying kvl to second mesh i got it as uh, this is for third or second mesh you can that is immaterial i3 equal to 1 by 4 i1 minus i2 this is one equation and v2 equal to 4 i2 plus i3 this is third equation 
so three equations you got from three mesh um, applying kvl for three different meshes now in this it is expression of v1 i1 and i3 we won't want i3 this is also this is i3 equal to something i1 and i2 yes so you can substitute value of i3 here in terms of i1 i2 so that you will get equation of v1 i1 and i2 if you will substitute value of i3 here also you will get ex expression of v2 in terms of i1 and i2 so that's why from one of these equation you find out value of i3 and then substitute in other two equations okay so i have found out value of i3 from this middle equation this middle equation i have found out the value of i3 in terms of i1 and i2 and then i have substituted it in these two v1 and v2 expressions so if you will substitute it you will find that this is v1 equal to 3i1 minus i3 i3 i have substituted it as 1 by 4 i1 minus i2 and then simplified this equation to get v1 equal to 11 by 4 i1 plus 1 by 4 i2 i have marked this as equation number 4 let us say then sec uh, the this equation from this v2 equal to 4 i2 plus i3 i3 again i'll substitute 1 by 4 i1 minus i2 and then again simplify this so after simplification that is clubbing all the terms of i1 together i2 together and uh, v2 on another side so this equation will be v2 equal to 1 by 4 i1 plus 15 by 4 i2 let us say this is equation number 5 so these are the equation numbers 4 and 5 four number equation is in v1 in terms of i1 and i2 v2 uh, equation number 5 is v2 in terms of i1 and i2 so this you compare this with the standard equation standard form of uh, z parameters it is v1 equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 so coefficient of i1 in equation of v1 is nothing but your z11 so z11 is 11 by 4 z12 is 1 by 4 from this this is z21 it is 1 by 4 and this is z22 it is 15 by 4 so i have written z11 z12 uh, 21 and 22 right then you have to comment from these values if you find out first these two z21 and z12 whether these two are equal if these two are equal then it is a reciprocal network so both these values are equal so it is a reciprocal network and find out whether these two values are equal if these two values are equal it is a symmetrical network if these two values are not equal it is a asymmetrical network so here these two values are not equal so it is a asymmetrical network okay then again simulation of this so i have simulated it in this particular uh, um uh, simulation software 12 volt i have applied here and a current meter 2 ohm 2 ohm 3 ohm 1 ohm 1 ohm the same values i have uh, substituted from the numerical 2 2 3 1 1 1 and once i have connected here voltage source kept this open circuit and another time i have kept uh, voltage source here and kept this as open circuit so when port 22 is open circuit these are the readings v1 is 12 volt i1 is 4.36 ampere i2 is 0 and v2 is 1.09 so from this i can calculate z11 as v1 by i1 so v1 is 12 volt i1 is 4.36 so it is 2.75 and z21 is equal to v2 upon i1 so v2 is 1.09 divided by 4.36 so it is 0.25 so same values i got then now i have applied a voltage source to port 2 and i have kept port 1 as open circuit so if port 1 is open circuit that means current i1 has gone to zero value i have got value of 
V1 as 0.8 volt, I1, I2 as 3.2 ampere, and V. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. V2 as 12 volt. So got these three values. So Z12, it is equal to V1 upon I2. So V1 is 0.8, 0.8 by 3.2. So it is 0.25, and Z22 is equal to V2 upon I2. So 12 volt divided by 3.2 ampere. So it is 3.75. So this values of Z11, 12, 21, and 22. I have got it with this software. Again, I have simulated with uh, Falstart.com uh, Tinker CAD also. So for Tinker CAD, I have given you the simulation results. So this is the circuit diagram which I have copied from the simulation window. And this, if you will put this in your uh, browser, you will get this circuit. If you will keep this link in your browser window, you will get the second part. So in part one. I have kept this as open circuit. This is open circuit, ah. Huh? This is a voltmeter which I have connected. This is open circuit. Voltmeter I have connected, and current meter. So here also, this is input port now open circuit. This is voltmeter, ammeter, and these are the readings. So you can get the values of this V1, I1, and I2 is zero, V2. Then V1. I1 is zero here, V2 and I2. From this, you can find Z11 as 2.75, Z21 as 0.25, Z12 as 0.25, and Z22 as 3.75. Same as that of the simulation in uh, previous uh, software. So even if you will um, implement this circuit and measure it uh, with the voltmeter and ammeter. Then also your uh, reading uh, parameters will come the same. The only difference may be there in some points because of the tolerance of the uh, particular components. Okay. So is there time left? I think uh, time is running out. So we'll stop here today's discussion. So that will be unable to complete uh, next uh, numerical. Okay, and. Uh